Episode 56, DP. Continuation of Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors being used in Rochester, Minnesota, and at the Mayo Clinic. The figures were based on air quality and health data released in a statewide life and breath report prepared by the Minnesota Department of Health and Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. Some of the air quality monitors are part of a network that can be viewed live online at www.purpleair.com data might be unavailable for part of April and May while researchers calibrate the monitors. After that, another platform that will include data from the Purple Air monitors and other monitors being developed. New York, Niagara Falls Rosep View the article below is an editorial about the unfair danger inherent in ringing the wrong doorbell, pulling into the wrong driveway, and pulling the wrong door handle of a car, while being of a minority race in the United States. There have recently been a series of unrelated incidents of young people being attacked after doing those very things, some incidents resulting in the deaths of these young people, and although one of the deaths was of a young white woman, other young people who were attacked were of minority race. This article was also a Google alert for wood burning, which brought this article to Rosep's attention. Rosep's mission is advocacy for residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Related to the pollution from residential wood burning, wood burning in campsites is also being addressed by the state of Michigan, which will provide alternate camping sites which are wood smoke free in 2024 in some of its Michigan state parks. Razep celebrated this news about smoke-free campsites in Michigan in 2024 when it was announced last week. The parts of this editorial that directly concern Razep are concerned that wood for either campsite wood burning or indoor residential wood burning is being sold and bought in New York State. The need for this editorial writer's fire pit is not explained, except to say that, after camping in a campsite there was a whim for evening campfires at home long after campsites closed for the season. This is not a good enough reason, in Razep's view, to pollute the air of a neighborhood, presumably a suburban neighborhood in Niagara Falls, New York. The logistics of obtaining firewood usually make firewood more expensive than other heating sources, in terms of combined time, effort, and money. In looking for wood from strangers on a route home from a park where they had camped, the white man of the couple knocked on a door of a home selling firewood. No one answered the door, and the white man took some firewood and put the correct amount of money in the honor box in the driveway of the stranger's home. The black woman member of the couple sat in the car of the driveway, located in the countryside of New York State. The editorial by the black woman who sat in the car concluded no one shot at us, but that doesn't mean I thought it was not a possibility because she was black. The editorial was in favor of gun control. Razep is in favor of pollution control, as well as gun control. If the editorial writer considers human health, the health of near neighbors should also be considered. Irresponsible polluting of a neighborhood is not considerate, and hopefully will be soon considered illegal in Niagara Falls, New York. No economic reasons were given for this wood burning. And if economic reasons were given, they could easily be countered by the argument that wood burning for home heating is inefficient, and this article does demonstrate that the logistics of obtaining wood for burning is costly in and of itself. Bailey, Ignorance is No Defense, Opinion, Niagara-Gazette.com Niagara-Gazette.com we bought a small wood-burning fire pit from Sam's Club and figured we could still enjoy evening campfires at home, long after campsites closed. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Bailey, Ignorance is No Defense April 25, 2023 I have rung the wrong doorbell, pulled into the wrong driveway pulled on the door handle of a car that looks just like mine, walked onto a neighbor's lawn to return a ball, child's toy or stray pet. On more than one occasion, I have walked onto my neighbor's porch to retrieve a package addressed to me or given a neighbor misdelivered mail. Last summer, as we drove home following a camping trip at Four Mile Creek State Park, my partner and I made mental notes of homes selling firewood on Creek Road. 
We bought a small wood-burning fire pit from Sam's Club and figured we could still enjoy evening campfires at home, long after campsites closed for the season. Oregon, Lost Village, Eco Village Because nothing says eco like the most polluting form of heating known to humanity. Australia, Victoria, Wangaratta Wood particle plume prompts shut down Wangaratta Chronicle. Wangaratta Chronicle A cyclone silo, which suffered a mechanical failure at Alpine MDF yesterday morning, sparked concern throughout the community, as would particles. EPA Victoria, investigating fiber discharge from Wangaratta's Alpine MDF, the border mail. The border mail. Wood particles were 10 centimeters deep in some places after they were accidentally released from a hopper by Alpine MDF on April 25. United Kingdom UK, Hereford News, Hereford and Worcester Fire and Rescue Service remind homeowners, your Herefordshire. Your Herefordshire. We were called out at 9.20 a.m. today to a wood-burning stove and Fire station attended the heavily smoke-logged property in Bowley Lane. UK, Leicester. Charity accused of promoting polluting wood burning stoves in £4.5 million house raffle. Leicester Mercury. Wood burning stoves, cancer charity Marie Curie is being urged to review their support for an Omez draw. Raws up view, 81% of people in a tabloid poll, UK Leicestershire poll said they did not want, residential indoor, wood burners banned. This is probably around the same percentage of people who did not want to wear masks when the ramifications, illness, and death, of not wearing masks during the COVID-19 were not fully known. Razep is in favor of government intervention in matters of public health, when scientific facts back up the idea of the public good of government mandates. Whether they are government mandates to wear protective KN95 masks against COVID-19 or whether they are government mandates to stop PM2.5 pollution from indoor residential wood burning, which affects the health and lives of near neighbors of wood burners. PM2.5 is particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, setting off a cascade of human health problems. Wood smoke consists of 90% PM2.5. So, the headline of the article below, the key reason wood burning stoves won't be banned in Britain, has been spoiled by Razep ahead of reading the article. By this spoiler, a majority of as yet not fully informed people want to jeopardize their health to enjoy breathing in the toxic air that they are accustomed to breathing in. This spoiler is like the twist ending to a horror movie. Not only are people likely to become sick and die, but 81% still want this illness to continue. Sounds like nicotine addicts clutching their cigarettes or alcoholics clutching their drinkies. But the actual wonderful thing about this addiction to wood smoke is that this is not a physical addiction at all. There is nothing in wood smoke that taps an addiction center in the brain. It is easy to stop burning wood, residentially, indoors, as far as physical addiction goes. The information about wood smoke's role in illness and death needs more airing. The wood stove industry has advertised wood burning to death. If people feel uninformed about any downside to wood burning, they should read on or listen into this whole podcast. Unfortunately, the real spoiler is the UK government, which is not fully on board in protecting the health of the people of Britain. A ban in the UK is not imminent and the recent Government Environmental Improvement Plan confirmed this. Reported in January, the government quelled fears of a ban coming into action, citing the increased demand that has been driven by the energy crisis. Over 200,000 wood burners are thought be installed annually in Britain and some homeowners have no other means of heating their home, for example, if they live off the grid. Razep view, the economic argument for burning wood is weak. If someone lives off the grid, the government should extend the grid to them. The idea for the near future is clean energy based on solar, wind and geothermal powering an electrical grid flowing to residential heat pumps which operate at temperatures well below zero degrees Fahrenheit.